Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you um, how to fix an issue that I recently ran into when I plugged a USB device um, into my Windows 10 machine and it did not actually show up or register on the machine. So what I have here is just a little speaker and a little uh, mini board, a logic board that has a battery, a speaker, and a button with a volume. So you can actually load a couple of um, mp3 files or whatever you want on there and then you can actually push the button and it'll play it so but whenever i plug this in it, it didn't register so let's flip over to the actual computer and i'll explain what i was seeing and the quick fix for it okay so i'm going to open up my file explorer here and you can see that right now i actually i'll hit this pc you can see right now that there is a usb device I click on it and you can see some Chinese mp3 files that were actually loaded into it, which is what I was hearing. Um, prior to this though, um, this device was not actually showing up when I plugged it in. So this is, this, these are the steps that I took to actually fix this. So first off, you want to go into the device manager here. And from here, you will actually see your USB devices. And you'll see ones that are actually listed in here. Now, right now you can see that I have a couple of one now. now. I'm going to go ahead and right click and uninstall that. But you see how that one's grayed out? That is because that's a hidden USB um, file. And there's another one here that has actually failed. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall that device as well. And I'm going to show you. So I wasn't able actually to see this device in here. Um, so I wasn't able to actually follow any of the tutorials I saw where you can right click, update the driver, or uninstall, and then go up here to action and actually scan for new device changes because the device was actually hidden. So the way you access this is you want to open up your command prompt. So if you, if you don't know how to do that, you hit the start down here, type in CMD, and then you'll see command prompt. Click on that and then it'll open it up. Um, if you have issues where it says you don't have the rights to use this, when you see it right here, or when you hit in CMD, just right click and run it as administrator and then those rights go away. Once you get to command prompt though, you'll be in your normal directory. You want to actually, and I have it pasted here, but you want to actually, I guess I will, um, paste in, and I'll have this in the bottom underneath the uh, video as well, but set dev manager underscore show underscore non-present underscore devices for one. So one is setting it basically true, you want to show it. This was set to zero, then it wouldn't show it. So you're just changing a setting. That team. Whenever you hit enter, um, it'll go back to this. And then you can actually open up your device manager, go over here to view, and go down and click show hidden devices. And your new hidden devices will now be able to show here. Um, now, every grayed out hidden device that you see Go down, right click, and uninstall all of them, okay? Then the next step you wanna do is restart your computer. When it boots back in, go back into this device manager here, and this just go to action and scan for hardware changes. Once that is done, you should be able to go back into your file explorer here, open this up, and then um, go down. So if you wanna click on this PC, and go down, you'll actually be able to see the USB device now, um, whereas you wouldn't, weren't able to see that before. And this applies to um, external hard drives, things like that that might be carrying too. I went through about 10 different tutorials trying to you know, do the PC scan and trying to uninstall and uninstall. And with until I found the hidden file one, um, I was at a loss. So this really helped and hopefully this helped one of you as well. Thanks guys and have a great day.